All right, this one's going to be on Wii Back of Fusion. It's a program to convert uh, Wii ISO games or GameCube games to uh, WBFS format, which is what the Wii uses. All right. Anyways, uh, recently I picked up uh, the original Wii here. So after you have the Wii, you need to soft mod it uh, using a letter bomb or something like that. And make sure the homebrew channel is installed on your Wii. And after that, you can actually install the... USB loader GX on your SD card, right? And the next step is just to format your your external hard drive to um, you know a FAT32. And they said the best one is to use a FAT32 with a 32KB cluster. Um, I don't know. They said that's uh, the best performance for uh, GameCube games and stuff like that. Uh, so do that. So FAT32 is what we're gonna use for external hard drive. And after that, you just need the games and then you need to transfer it to, you know, um, the hard drive, okay? So to do that, we're going to use this backend program. We need to install this backend program called, uh, what is this one? This one is called WIT. It stands for WIMS uh, ISO Tools, all right? And it should be in your official repositories. So check out for different, let me see, I checked out... Uh, this one's on the Ubuntu's here, and it does exist. Look at this here, right? Uh, for Wii and GameCube ISO image and stuff like that. Um, so they do have that in, in the Ubuntu's, uh, the Debian's, and the Mint's. It should be in there. And some of these other distributions you can check out, depending on what you use. So that's the back-end program. Now, the front-end is not in your official repository, so you have to get it manually. So that's what we're going to do here. This one is Wii Back of Fusion, and this one is cross-platform, so, you know, you, you can use it on um, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Look at this. They have Mac. Of course, they have, like, a, a Debian build, but we're going to use this, um, this Linux tarball here, right? So, download that sucker, which I already did, and extract it. So, just right-click and, you know, extract or whatever you want to do it. And you have this folder, and inside it you have this um, executable file here. But sometimes you might have to do uh, right-click on this and go to properties, and go to permissions, and then you want to enable, um, you know, uh, the program to execute. And now after you've done that, you can just double-click on it, and this is the program. Now the first time you open this, um, you have to do some settings here. So you go to option settings and you go to the WIT program here. Now you want to point it to where the WIT program is located at because by default it will say like USR local or USR local share or something in the bottom here. You want to find the program, you know, uh, where your WIT is located at. Since we install this from our official repositories, we can just do, um, you know, which uh, WIT here. And they'll tell you our location is in USR bin width. And basically, you just copy that and, and plug it in here. And this one should be a folder. So just to check if it actually exists, we just go to that folder. And it does exist. So there you go. That is uh, what we want to put in here. And after that, you hit apply, so on and so forth. They do have some other features or whatever you want to do in here, like for repairs and stuff like that, and even some scrubbing options. We're not going to be concerned with that right now. Uh, I think you could do some good stuff with that, but for the most part, you don't need to do anything else. Okay. So just apply and hit OK and get out of that. Anyways, as far as transferring this, um, make sure you download the games that you want, like for like uh, Wii or GameCube, whatever, and you know point to where the ISO image is at. Okay. So right now, this is in my Wii here, and I choose that. And I have one game in there is the Wii Fit because um, when I bought the Wii, uh, the person actually gave me um, actually a bunch of peripherals like uh, what was that the Wii balancing board and all that. So we can try the that later on. But here we have one game here, and they tell you the ID of the game, uh, the name of the game, the title, the region, which is NTSC, this is North American, and the size and all that. So we just select this. And we hit transfer image. Now you want to point it to your um, your external hard drive. Let me plug in my external hard drive. One second. Let's 
so there we go mounted come on where is it mounted is it mounted there you go this is my Wii ISO uh, hard drive here now in this hard drive this external hard drive uh, which is a fat 32 you want to create a folder called WBFS this is really important because if you don't create this folder and put your files in there it will not read it once you uh, you know use uh, USB loader GX on your Wii okay so very important you have to create this folder um, not sure if it's really managed with lowercase or capitalized but I use it in lowercase here and basically uh, this is the folder that you want to you know import it into here so where is it located at uh, it's not in here is it let me see here should be my run media what the hell is media there we go this is my Wii ISO folder and the WBFS so you want to choose that folder here right and as far as the image format um, they do have different ones so the ISO is like a one-to-one copy but the thing with the Wii is that uh, the game might be just like maybe 500 megabytes but what they do is they write like random data to it to fill up the whole uh, DVD or dual layer I don't know why they do that maybe it's for copyright protection or whatever but what this other format does is that uh, they'll get rid of the um, random data and they call that scrubbing or whatever and all these other formats are just basically to compress it um, or like get rid of the um, the random data just to save space on your hard drive right but really the format that you want to use is um, WBFS this is what the uh, the Wii uses and it also saves space too because I believe it scrubs those um, those random data away too and most emulators I believe they will read this too so in my my opinion this is the format you want to use unless you're gonna burn it to a disk or something then you want to use the ISO or some of these other ones but for me I'm just gonna use from a hard drive so that's what I'm gonna use here WBFS alright so that's the format you want to convert it to as far as the size here split size since we are using a fat 32 there's a limit on 4 gigs and this one should be okay um, just for this game because it's you know it's uh, what was that 4.38 or something like that I'm not sure you need to split on this one but for other games like uh, a dual layer games or something like that you need to split it to four gigs now I try this one with uh, Super Smash Brothers and that's a, like a dual layer game um, that's like about seven gigs or something like that I try splitting with four gigs it did not work I'm not sure why but if that happens to you you want to use two gigs all right and that actually did work so I don't know what the difference is but uh, especially for Super Smash Brothers Brawl um, I had to use two gigs so if four gigs doesn't work just try two gigs that's my um, that's my take on that anyways after that you hit OK and it should transfer it to uh, your what is that your external hard drive here right it should be uh, yeah, just a random file now after that what you want to do is create a new folder create a new folder and then give it a title uh, you can call it whatever you want um, so right now this is the title that I'm using here so I just give it a name we fit plus and personally for me I like to have the region of it so this one I put it in um, what was that uh, not parentheses yeah parentheses NTSC and then the last part is really important you have to have the game ID if you do not have the game ID it will not work okay so this is the game ID if you don't remember what it is this is right here the game ID and they inside it um, it will just be the game ID and the WBFS format so that's how you convert the uh, ISO image to uh, WBFS and so on and so forth um, so that's it really so if you want to do that like I said let's just recap here you need to have in your external hard drive uh, FAT32 formatted um, it sh should be it's optional I mean it should be a 32 
KB cluster. Um, like I said, those are what they said is the the most efficient. But you know, FAT32, so on and so forth. And then you need to create this folder called WBFS. And inside it, you can each just drop the game in here, or you can create uh, a directory for each game, like I do. So in here, you just give it a name. Uh, I like to use the region too, it doesn't really matter, but the important part is you have to have the ID here in, um, what is that, um, brackets? And inside it is just the game, um, you know, just the ID of the game, and then the, the format. Anywho, that's a long story, but that's what it looks like uh, once you're uh, done. Load that up into your Wii and, you know, boot it up with the external hard drive and everything. And it should look something like this once, um, um, what is that, in your USB loader GX. Um, this is what it looks like with the interface. Actually, by default, um, it'll pop up like in this list mode. Because uh, you have like different, um, <clears throat> you have different uh, interface you can uh, change it to. Like up top here, they'll have like a, a what is that? Uh, you know, the channel mode. They have like a, um, a deck of cards kind of mode, and so on and so forth. But by default, it would be in the list mode here, and you would not have any, um, you would have not any uh, game marks. So you want to go in list mode, and then you click on the uh, blank. <laughs> game art and then it'll tell you if you want to scan for uh, or you want to download um, you know the pictures and stuff like that so you need to be connected to the internet if you want to do that uh, and it will download to your SD card right sorry for doing this because I don't actually have a good camera or anything I don't got money to buy that shit so I'm gonna show you uh, just the screenshots here but basically you click on this sucker uh, it will be like an empty box or something like that and then I'll uh, pop up an, a menu and then you click on scan and hit OK or something like that and it'll scan for uh, new box art for your games okay and uh, after that you can use it in any mode you want you can use it like this spread mode or something like this uh, this one a gallery kind of thing so on and so forth uh, that is it for the program it's just uh, Wii Fusion I mean we back of Fusion this is the front end uh, I might talk about the back end later on if I actually learn how to use it, but I didn't. Anyways, that's it for the Wii if you want to do that.